Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my locals and uh, leave me a comment below if your locals has done this. And I'm going to tell you a very honest story about how our local game store fell apart and what happened and why I, you know, I'm going not going to be nice about it. The reason our local game store fell apart was because the tournament organizer, not the owner, the owner is somewhat hands off. The tournament organizers have always been excellent in the past between Matt, Joss, um, there was another one in the middle. But there's been a lot of tournament organizers and they've been all very good and they build a community and they bring people to play. At this FNM, it used to be 60, 70, 80, it used to be one of the funnest places to go to, even on Friday. And you guys know how I feel about Friday Night Magic is, you know, Friday is kind of a sacred day for dating and stuff, but okay, it's one of the most hopping places that you could go to. Uh, even to the point that um, your significant other doesn't really care because her friends will go there as well to read comic books and things of that nature. The tournament organizer we had previously, the one that yelled at me, that like said all these just random stuff, uh, was not very good. And what I mean not very good is he had certain preferences for certain players who I believe were, I don't know if they were his friends, but he preferred certain players. So the way that he would operate is he would allow them to trade in cards near retail and everyone else who would, you know, pretty much do what a regular TO would do. Now, when you're talking about preference and you're talking about, you know, giving um, advantages to people, uh, you have, it wasn't like he was giving advantages to people who were buying more cards, which was not happening. He was giving advantages to his friends and that creates a climate where you have a very select few people, probably like two or three people, who are playing this game. And I think I remember one of them very well and not super friendly. I'm, you know, I'm actually kind of glad the community in this store died because it was getting very toxic and not super friendly. And they tend to be uh, extremely mean to new players in terms of sharking them, take, ripping them off, um, forcing them in. Uh, and what you have to really understand here is when you have a community of players, um, even a few toxic players, that kind of makes the new players not want to come. So though you have a core community because of your location and people, I, I used to go to this f because it was closest to me. My friend owns a store in Houston, but I don't live in Houston and it takes me about no traffic. It takes me half an hour to go to Houston, but on Friday at 6 p.m. or they start at 6.45, I, it's hard for me to get there on time given the traffic and the parking is horrendous. So I used to, I went to a F &M closer to me. So you have people who live in this area and they're gonna to come to the store because it's the easiest, not because the store is the greatest or the best or the friendliest, it's the easiest to go to. Um, maybe it's the only one you can go to within this time period, which was the case for me. I just don't even go to the store anymore and I just go to special events at my friend's store now. A few people who are toxic and the toxicness is encouraged by giving them promos, giving them um, discounts on products, giving them pretty much, hey, you run the store, you toxic people. New players are not gonna go there anymore. New players are just gonna stop going and once they stop going, your community is screwed. It's over. Because even if the old players still go, you know, people move, people um, have other responsibilities, people have other interests in the hobbies and they quit magic, but you never regrow that population. And that's why, you know, giving preference to some people, even not toxic people, that's very destructive in my opinion. So leave me a comment below if you had an experience like that or if your store has done that, where they give promos or free packs or discounts to a select group of people. And it seems, you know, very unfair because that's how I was at my previous locals. Anyway, bye guys.